Okay everyone, today we have the Shark Vertex Corded Ultralight. This machine has power and precision. It comes with a self-cleaning pet power brush, a lightweight for above floor reach. It's the Corded Ultralight model. Hypervelocity suction has the strongest suction of any Shark Rocket stick vacuum based at the hand vac. No, you are not getting my microphone. See, look at this. Anyways, um, um, let's move this over. Uh, it says bristles leave cleaning gaps and wrap hair while the shark power fins has continuous cleaning contact, digs deep into carpets and directly engage floors with no hair wrap, picks up more in every pass, has the power fins and the soft roller, two brush rolls, carpets and floors, fine dust, large piles and embedded dirt, has the self-cleaning brush roll, has the lightweight hand vac, has the self-cleaning pet power brush, which will be great for cleaning upholstery, like these chairs here, and the machine, it's the same on these sides too. So yeah, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so now we are going to unbox the machine. So all you need to do is remove this little tab right here. So you get your instructions first, and then cardboard, here comes the, oh, let's take this out first. And here should be some tools. We have the wand clip. This attaches your tools to the wand. We have the crevice tool, pretty standard crevice tool. And then next we have this tool right here, which is the multi-purpose attachment. So this tool is all taped up, but you've seen this before. This is the standard attachment that pretty much any shark comes with. And then we have the last tool, which is the one I'm excited for, most interested in. And that is the self-cleaning pet power brush. It has these rubber fins rather than brushes. And it also has this little fuzzy part right here. It has these rubber fins and it is suction powered. And those rubber fins don't tangle with hair like a standard bristle brush would. We have the vertex tube. It's pretty fancy, pretty fancy. Pretty well-made tube. Electric connections for the power head. Next is the power head, which is very heavy. So let's go finish the rest of the unboxing on the floor. It's hard to get the best view while standing. So let's go and do it down here, right on the floor. Look at this. So here's your cleaner head. It has the power fins, and then it's got the bristle brush, and it's got these staggered and then it's got the soft roller and it's got this rubber to keep it from accidentally uh, scratching anything. It's got this tool right here. Then we have this attachment right here. This attachment does what it, you'd expect it to. It clips the tools onto the wand. Hopefully the pet power brush can fit on that because that's the tool I'm concerned about taking with me. Goodness gracious, come on now. There we go, we got this tool. That's good. Really medium stiffness. It does not have the upholstery tool ability to click off like the other shark tool I have, but that's okay because it comes with this. This tool I'm really interested in. I really want to see how well that tool performs. The next should be the final, which is the hand back. There goes that. Here is the hand unit. 
Yep, that's the hand unit, and that's it. Here is your Vertex hand unit. There's Kitty sitting up there watching. Like, hey, this looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna stay down here and watch. This cord on this Vertex hand unit is actually longer than the cord on the Up, right, and see the kitties down now. And give me a second, I'm wrestling with this right now. And finally, the cord is out. Goodness gracious. So here's the hand back. It's about similar size to the rocket, but the bin is different. There's the motor right there. It's a 600 watt motor, I think. 5.7 amps. 680 watts. It's probably with the power head. See, really easy. That's bin access, then you have filter access, so this is how you dump it. When you empty the bin, you also get access to the filter, this little mesh screen right here. This keeps, this is angled to keep all the dirt from getting stuck. See, we have the opening right here. Kitty, what are you doing? You can see we have the filters. We have your pre-sponge filter, and then we have your felt filter. Oh, three layers. And then we have a fabric and then a much finer, very thick fabric. Then we have the sponge filter again. And then we do have a post motor filter. You put this in the bin first, then put the bin back in. So then we do this right here. And then we just, what are you doing? You're so weird. Okay. So it has this little panel to show you what everything's doing. And then to access your post motor filter, you pull right here on the Shark logo. And here's your post motor filter. It's a fabric filter. It is sealed. It is a sealed filter. If you can see this rubber right here, this is a seal that keeps the filter in place. It's not anti-allergen, but it's perfectly acceptable in my opinion. So I do like the cyclone design. You can see the dirt comes in, spins through here, and then drops out this little hole right here. You can attach, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, look at that. So if you wanna deep down clean your stairs, here you go. You can also use this tool just like that. And now you can clean with the hand unit. It's pretty lightweight, pretty well balanced. No battery on the bottom, so it's actually a three pounds only, which is very lightweight. I can see this being very good for people who don't want a cordless vacuum and have to deal with batteries, but also want a lightweight vacuum. So I like that bin emptying design, how the bin comes off like this. This is so, so light. You should have no problem easily carrying this around. And then you got the motor and then the exhaust comes out the side. This is a pretty cool looking machine. This power head is what I'm really interested in. The power head, weighs significantly more than the hand back. I should measure it on my scale sometime. Well, that's cool, you just twist, pinch right here, and now you can check for clogs. That's really, really easy. No tools necessary. Rubber wheels, rubber wheels, rubber wheels, all rubberized, super fluffy and soft. Should be great for hardwood floors. None of these will scratch. And then you have a foot release, so you don't have to deal with the Bending down. Dyson needs to add that, in my opinion. Now let's add this right here. Yay! The tool works with it. And I will carry the crevice tool. So, and then I'll put this to the side. I want this. This fits. Which is awesome. And then to dock your vacuum, Shark makes it super easy, I think. How do you dock this? Oh, I see. It's like, like that, I think. Maybe it's, yeah, it has to be like this. So then you dock your unit just like that. And now your machine is docked. I'm gonna store it like full with the hand unit attached in the corner of the room, leaning up against the wall. Does it have, yep, it's rubberized so it won't scratch your wall. 
So, <laughs> let's get into testing this, shall we? I'm gonna turn some more lights on so we can see a little better. Then I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna use it. So let me know what you think about the shark unboxing. And I'll see you next time with the test.